how to launch vehicles. Everybody has been asking for a video like this for the last couple of months, so I'm proud to present how to launch vehicles in Halo. Some of these launches can be very easy, some will be intermediate, and some will be very, very hard. But hopefully this video has something for everyone. I'm going to be covering launches that don't require any skulls, some that require Sputnik and Feather, and then we're gonna talk about Acrophobia and then modding. I've tried to select a lot of these launches that you guys can use with the skulls already in the game. Halo 2 has Sputnik and Feather on it and Halo 3 has Acrophobia. I've picked some fun ones for you guys to do and I've also picked my personal favourite ones. But without further ado, let's get right into the video guys. So to start, a personal favourite of mine is Halo 2 Metropolis the Phantom Bump. This is actually already used in the IL Metropolis world record by Monopoly. In it, you get straight into the Warthog, drive all the way past the Wraith, jump up on a light and jump into the oncoming phantom for it to launch you all the way across the bridge. This particular launch looks visually beautiful, it's really fun to pull off and you can go all the way through the tunnel if you time it correctly. The trick to this particular launch is to get hit on the downward side of the phantom. If you get hit on any part of the upper part of the phantom, it will just send you flying off into the sky which is also fun, but if you don't have acrophobia on Halo 2, you're just going to die every time. Next up we have another fun launch that you guys can go and do right now, and that's the Covenant Scarab Invulnerability launch. So what you want to do is start Halo through the Covenant, Acrophobia if you really want to. Continue the mission normally until you reach the Chieftain with the Gravity Hammer. You want to kill him and take his Invulnerability. If he doesn't drop an Invulnerability then you have to reset. Once you have your Gravity Hammer and your Invulnerability, go into the Citadel area for the final fight against the two Scarabs. Upon entering this area, this is where Acrophobia really helps. You can just fly and hijack one of the Banshees. Continue until the two Falcons spawn and you fight the Scarabs. You take your Banshee to where the right Scarab lands, and as it's still doing its landing animation, you rock it and throw a grenade, and then jump as I have done. You can actually direct yourself and go anywhere you want with this particular launch. And with the invulnerability, you're not going to die. This is a hell of a lot more fun if you do have acrophobia on. But if you're feeling brave and you want to do it without it, go for it. The trick to this particular launch, because I did Banshee to Banshee, is that the Banshees in this area, as soon as someone ejects out of it, or if you hijack one of the brutes in the Banshee, and then you get out of it, it will instantly blow it up. This will spawn a new one that will start to fly into the map, going very slow initially before boosting. And if you time it correctly, you can hijack it. Next up we have the first of the Hunter launches, the Halo 2 Outskirts Hunter launch. This is actually the very first launch I ever did when going for the campaign stuff. It's super simple, very fun to try, and this is how you do it. Step 1, you want to have Feather and Sputnik on. You want to progress through the mission normally until the first two set of Hunters burst through the door. All you have to do is melee the Hunter which will actually turn him around and he'll do a backward strike and send you flying across the map. As he comes down to hit you, all you have to do is jump and angle yourself wherever you want to go. Following on from that, we have the Halo Combat Evolved Hunter launch. This one actually requires you to have Acrophobia. Link to how to get Acrophobia and Feather for Halo Combat Evolved is in the description. Very easy to get. And it's the same thing. You wait for the Hunter to hit you, you jump above him and it'll send you flying into the sky. A lot of the launches I do require Feather and Acrophobia for both Halo 2 and Halo Combat Evolved. And that's purely because once you fall for a certain time, the game kills you. Next up we have a launch you can actually do in matchmaking, and that is Goose Launching, Mongoose Launching, sending mongooses and wardogs flying across the map. Mongoose Launching used to be very popular back when Halo 3 originally launched, back in 2007. If you're interested in watching some old school videos or some older montages that have Goose Launching in them, I've linked them in the description below as well. This launch is actually very simple, you just need a brute shot and a frag grenade. And you want to actually throw the frag grenade ahead of you, so when you drive over it, you combine the brute shot at the exact same time, timing is everything, and the combined explosion will send you flying across the map. This also works with the gravity hammer, if you're playing heavies there's actually no betrayals, there's no friendly fire, so you can stack grenades and use a hammer and send yourself flying across the map. This only works for Halo 3 because the game physics engine kind of supports this kind of thing. You can do it in Halo Reach as well, but it's not so good, you don't go as far. That's purely because the game is clunky. Next up we have the Halo Combat Evolved Silent Cartographer Co-op Grenade Launch. That sounds like a mouthful, but it's actually pretty easy to do. You just want to load up Silent Cartographer, grab a Warthog, and go straight to where any of the overshields are. You want to backsmack your co-op partner to make a stack of grenades. To get a tight stack of grenades, you want to kill your partner in the exact same spot over and over and over. Then you just have to throw a grenade underneath, pick up the overshield which makes you invulnerable for a second, and you go flying across the map. Obviously, if you don't want to die for the fall timer, you need Acrophobia. 
but it's a super fun one you can do with your friends and I'd highly recommend it. The final launch I'm going to talk about in this video is the Deployable Cover Covenant launch. This one by far took me the longest to get, so I want to include one that's actually going to take a very long time, even with Acrophobia to get. The deployable cover launch itself is very much a feel type thing. To set yourself up for success, you want to jump and throw the deployable cover directly underneath you. Then at the top of the jump, the apex, as soon as you start to fall down, you lean forward slightly with your left stick. If you land correctly, it'll send you super fast flying across the entire map. Occasionally, if you don't launch, you can actually walk forward a little bit inside the deployable cover and then it'll fling you out. This is very much a practice one. It's gonna take time. Once you've got it mastered, you can do it almost consistently. But I just wanted to include one that will take a long time to get. It's incredibly satisfying when you actually do get it. And if anyone does get it, link me on Twitter. I usually get link clips all the time, so send me what you get. So there you have it guys, there's six launches you can try yourself. I'm planning to do another couple episodes of this if it does well. There's a lot more launches, especially with Halo CE, co-op launches where you can send yourself flying across the map. I'm also going to be doing my Halo Reach Lasso video, that's going to be out very soon. I'm also going to be doing all the MCC achievements, so I have plenty of content before we finally get some new infinite information. Hopefully you'll enjoy today's video, and we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. See you later guys.